Hello, welcome to Arunsing Academy. We are discussing matrices and determinants, and this is a lecture number nine. I hope you have already watched part one to part eight before watching this part nine. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the properties of determinants. So, basic knowledge about the determinants has been discussed already, but uh, now we are going to discuss about the properties of determinants, and thereafter we will solve some questions related to properties of determinants. So, without wasting time. I would like to discuss the properties of determinant and what it does. Try to understand them. Um, the properties of determinant. This is the topic. So we are going to discuss today properties of determinant. Minant. So what is properties and what we need to discuss? The first property I would like to write here, and this is what. If any row or column of a determinant of a determinant has all element zero, all element zero, then value of determinant is zero. Value of determinant. H zero, H zero. So if there is a determinant, say like this zero, zero, and zero, and this is four minus three, two minus eight, five, seven, then value of such determinant will be zero because one column of determinant is zero. So this is the property, uh, first property. The second property is that. If any two rows or columns of determinants, columns of determinants are identical, identical, then value of determinant is zero. Value of determinant. H zero, H zero, right? So if any two row or column of determinant are identical, then value of determinant is equal to zero. It means if there is like a writing here, I say like this: A one, A two, A three, B one, B two, B three, and here K A one. K B two, K A two, and K A three. Then value of determinant will be zero. Here the first and third are identical. That means by taking K as common, these two will be same. So here C one and C three are identical. C one and C three are identical. Identical means uh, some scalar multiple may be there. Identical and therefore value of determinant will be zero. The third property is if any two adjacent rows adjacent rows or column of a determinant determinant. Are interchanged, interchanged. Then value of determinant will be multiplied by 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 right by minus negative sign. Right. That means if I am writing here a one, a two, a three, b one, b two, b three, c one, c two, c three, and value of determinant say delta, then if I would write here b one first, b one, b two, b three, and a one, a two, 
A3 and C1, C2, C3. Then, since these two are interchanged, first and second column are interchanged, then value of that will be negative sign of delta minus 1 multiply by minus isn't it so that is one important uh, rule as well now the next one is fourth property if any row or column column of a determinant determinant is multiplied by right by k then k that is not equal to 0 k which is not equal to 0 some constant then value of determinant will be also will be also multiplied by k multiplied by k value of determinant will be also multiplied by k so i can write here like uh, if say a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 and value of this is delta then if i multiply it first row by k1 a1k a2k a3k and b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 then value of that will be also k times of delta k delta if second column is also multiplied by k, then one more k will be multiplied there. If third column is also multiplied by k, then one k will be more multiplied. That will be kq. Uh, remember, this is the point where you should uh, pay attention that in matrix, if a be any matrix, and suppose I want to write k times of a, then every element of a was to be multiplied by k. But in determinant, either only one row or only one column will be multiplied by k, not all the elements of determinants. So, this is very important property. You must take care of this, isn't it? Now, property number 5. If any rows, if any row or column, if any row or column of a determinant determinant is sum of its sum of two or more elements elements then they can be they can be split into then they can be split into into two or more determinants more determinants as their sum so for example Suppose I have a determinant where a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, and a3, b3, c3, plus this is a third column that is d3, d3, say d1 plus d2 plus d3, like this. Then that can be written as a1, b1, and c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3, plus one more determinant which will be 
um, using the first two column and this part of column. So A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, D1, D2, D3 like that. So we can split into two or more returns that is a property and there will be no problem at all while solving this. Now push property number six and sixth property is there and which deals about if any row or column any row or if elements of any row or column if elements of any row or column of a determinant determinant is added with some scalar matrix a scalar multiple that is constant to the corresponding corresponding elements of other row or column or column then the value of determinant then the value of determinant will not change. Determinant will not change. Then the value of determinant will not change. That means if I write here say If uh, this is like A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3 and the value of this is delta, you know, say the value of this is delta, then if I write here that uh, A1 plus k b1 plus c1 then here I write then then in that case In that case, what will happen that A1, if I can write here A1 plus K times of B1 plus M times of C1, A2 plus K times of B2 plus M times of C2, A3 plus K times of B3 plus M times of C3 and b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3, then this will be also equal to delta, delta is equal to, because here what, I have written that first column goes to, this operation can be described as c1 tends to c1 plus k c2 plus m c3, this operation is described like this, and even then the value will not change. So we can prove it all also because if I I can split as per the property 4 uh, in 3 determinants then A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3 will be the first determinant and second determinant will be B1, B2, B3, K, B1, K, B2, K, B3 and B1, B2, B3. So these two will be identical and second determinant value will be 0. 
Similarly, third determinant which can be obtained by using this, this and this, then this m c1, c2, c3 and c1, c2, c3. These two will be identical, so value of determinant will be 0 in that case. Now, uh, the thing is derivative of determinant and factor theorem. So, one is factor theorem. Factor theorem. What is that? If fx is determinant is a function of x say, a function of x say 3x square plus 5, 2x plus 7, 3x minus 1, 5x, 2, 7, 9, minus 3x and 8 like this. Then and alpha is a value, alpha is a constant such that such that f alpha is equal to 0 that by putting x is equal to alpha, this value of determinant is 0, then we can say x minus alpha is a factor of determinant, x minus alpha is a factor of determinant, factor of fx, that is determinant, factor of fx, that is factor of determinant. So, this is a, also a property and we can use it wherever it is required. Now, there is a derivative of determinant. How to find derivative of determinant? So, the thing is derivative of determinant. Determinant, what is that? So, if fx is equal to say px, not fx but px say and the a determinant is described in terms of px. So, px is equal to a determinant f1 x, f2 x, f3 x, g1 x, g2 x and g3 x and h1 x, h2 x h3x, these are the function. Then, p dash x is nothing else, d by dx of, then, d by dx of px is described as p dash x and which is equal to, that is px and which is equal to, you can write f1 dash x plus f2 dash x, f2 dash x, f3 dash x, then g1 x, g2 x, g3 x, h1 x, h2 x, h3 x, like this, plus means derivative of first row and second row, third row will be written as it is then plus f1 x as it is, f2 x as it is, f3 x and derivative of second row that is g1 dash x, g2 dash x, g3 dash x and third row as it is, h1, h2 x, h3 x plus f1 x, f2 x, f3 x, g1 x, g2 x, g3 x, h1 dash x, h2 dash x, h3 dash x. So, that will be the way in which you can differentiate the determinant and you will be able to get it. So, I hope you got it. Okay. So, that will come up. And it, I can write like this. Let me write the bar check. So here it will be like and you will write here like this. 
like this. So. Then again, we will write here this one as and this one as bar. So I hope you got it. So that is the derivative of function. So these are few properties which you need to know. Some more properties which we have already discussed that properties number uh, in terms of minors and cofactors. But this time I'm going to remind it properties of minors and cofactors. Let's say this property number nine. If elements of any row or column multiplied by by corresponding cofactors, corresponding cofactors, then their sum is equal to equal to value of determinant of determinant right and uh, similarly if elements of if elements of any row or column column multiplied by corresponding cofactor like by corresponding cofactors of other rows or column cofactors of other row or column or column their sum is equal to 0. Sum is equal to 0. So these are few properties which have been already discussed and uh, I hope you got it. Uh, you must remember those properties. Now let us discuss some questions on the basis of these properties. But before doing questions, it is suggested that you need to um, revise all those properties keep in memory and thereafter you should go for solution of questions but uh, till now just uh, for example few questions I am going to discuss here and uh, what are those few questions let us see first question like this very simple without actual expanding expanding evaluate the value the value of determinant determinant like say this is one 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 a b c here b plus c c plus a a plus b like this then what would be that and this you need to calculate so here we can write solution as solution of this will be solution. We can write using the property that R3 goes to R3 plus R2. In that case what will happen? This will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and this will be a b c a b c and since r3 is going to change but what is happening r3 plus r2 so b plus c plus a will be a plus b plus c that will be also a plus b plus c that will be also a plus b plus c and now since if i would take a b plus b plus c common uh, then this will be also 1 1 1 
So R1 and R3 are identical. So since R1 and R3 are identical and therefore the value of this determinant would be equal to what? 0. Say value of this will be 0. So get value of this determinant is 0. So the first property I have used here that uh, identical rows and column if any determinant has then their value will be equal to 0. Now taking another question prove that minus a square minus a square and a b a c a b minus b square b c and a c b c minus c square is equal to 4 a square b square c square so you need to know that what you have to prove you know so that is why here we have to so that this will be a square b square c square so i can think over this question and uh, how to deal with this question you can have solution like you can take a common from first row and b common from second row and c common from third row because we need here a, B, C are common. So we can write the first step should be taking A, B, C common from row R1, R2 and R3 respectively. Right? So if I would take common uh, A, B, C then what will happen? There will be A, B, C outside and what is if I would take a common then that would be minus a b and c this will be if I take b common then a minus b and c and if I take c common from here this will be a left and b left and this is minus c. clearly now you can realize that we can take a common from this column b common from this column and c common from this column or we can right r1 tends to r1 plus r2 so that if this will be 0 this will be 0 and that will be 2c so we can move ahead like r1 tends to r1 plus r2 and r2 tends to r2 plus r3 that can be written also in that case what will happen this will be a b c and r1 plus r2 so that will be 0 R1 plus R2 that will be 0 and this will be 2C. R2 goes to this is 2A and this will be 0 and that will be also 0. And A, B and minus C. Now expanding along first row then what will happen? If I am expanding, expanding along R1 then what will happen? 0 into 0 that will be 0. Now A, B, C and 2 C times of what? This cancel, this cancel. So 2 B into 2 A into B that is 2 A B minus A multiply by 0 is 0. So that will be A, B, C and this is 2 to the 4 A, B, C and what is that? 4 A square B square C square. So this is what we need to prove. I hope you got it. So 2 to the 4. So the thing says here you can write that is 4 ABC which is equal to 4 A square B square C square that is RHS that we need to prove it. So right okay. Now so you have seen that there are few properties and uh, if you will use this pro these properties nicely according to demand and uh, then definitely you will be able to uh, solve the questions and you will be able to reach the uh, solution which you need uh, to prove it. So and definitely and there are two things you have to keep in mind one that uh, why uh, what you need to prove that we may 
take out common and where we can reach out uh, this even though if i'm not solving uh, this step but even i can take a common b common from here and c common from there then that also will be a square b square c square and then further we can expand then also this determinant value of that determinant will come 4 and then in, in that case also it will be 4a square b square c square so there is no unique method there are several methods in which we can um, proceed towards the result but uh, whatever come in your mind first that will be okay but remember uh, in this type of questions you have to apply at least two properties and then only uh, two step uh, with the properties and then only you can expand otherwise it will be not good considered not good and might be possible that teacher will not uh, reward you for marks so in therefore uh, you have to deal with the situations and accordingly you have to do the questions so i hope you got it so till then after the break we will uh, discuss again uh, till then you revise the properties um, We'll see you in the next session. God bless. Thank you.